Here's my homemade colloidal silver generator. Inside, there is a timing relay connected to this button, and I have it set at 10 minutes. Um, it turns the power supply on, which is a 24 volt power supply with um, 50 milliamps of current. So every time I press that button, we get 50 milliamps, well, 24 volts to the two silver rods. And I have my process meter hooked up here. So I'm going right at five milliamps because that's supposed to make a good particle size. And I've had to periodically adjust the depth of the cathode as it's gone on for about 30 minutes now and it has this color. I don't know how many parts per million that is, but I'm gonna go for one hour and I think that would probably be plenty strong. Um, there's a full view. I have the water just below boiling. So... Yep, just below boiling. I did use an electrolyte. I tried starting the batch off with some colloidal silver I made before, but it was taking a long time to get the current up to where I wanted it without any electrolyte in it. I was reading about half a milliamp. And I added one drop of the sodium carbonate electrolyte solution, and it jumped up to about eight milliamps just from one drop. So I'm not really worried about one drop of this doing crazy things to the silver solution. And I checked the voltage. It's actually coming in at 28. So, and 27 and a half volts. But that's close enough. So, I'm happy with this setup. Okay, so we're back here again with the colloidal silver generator. I am starting a second batch, and I just wanted to show you um, what a difference it makes when I add the electrolyte in the current. So I have the power supply turned on, and the meter is hooked up. You can see I'm only getting half of a milliamp approximately. So make sure I have the right bottle here. Yes. <laughs> and I'll just start with a single drop. Anything that I miss? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. Took a second. So you can see. Made quite a difference. Um, I think that might be good. If I can just lower this cathode a little bit farther. It would, probably would help if I had another hand. <laughs> this is some high class production value. And there we go. <laughs> so I brought that a little bit farther down. I will have to bring that up later on in the process. But we're pretty close to where I want to be. And now we wait.